Welcome back, everybody. We're in part three, and my goodness, we are in Labra Zone. <sighs> the most infamous stages in the first game. Well, arguably the most inf infamous stages. It's only worse because I had to collect two emeralds on this level. God, water stages and Sonic games. <laughs> <laughs> they water do not serious. And of course they would put this one in Sonic 4. Oh, yeah. It's or are not they inspired as by bad. That? I mean, it's not nearly as bad, of course, because nothing in Sonic 4 is nearly as bad. No. I mean, I think I remember finishing that game with upwards to, like, 60 lives. Oh, yeah. It's, I easily uh, got, like, 100. It was a heck of a lot easier on, on uh, 2, but still, though, collecting lives in 4 is easy. Okay, so if I remember correctly, there's supposed to be a specific reason why Sonic can't swim, if I'm not mistaken. I think one of the developers can't swim, or something to that effect? No, 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 no. The creator? When, like, Naka, there's a specific reason. When they were programming reason. it, they thought that uh, hedgehogs couldn't swim. Hmm. When, of course, in reality, they actually can, so... Well, I'm pretty know. sure all animals can swim. I mean, don't, I'm, don't before you guys go crazy in the comment section, but... If I'm not mistaken, I mean, other than humans, isn't this supposed to be natural instinct for animals to be able to swim? I wouldn't know. <laughs> mm. I don't actually do my studying at school. <laughs> That's it's supposed to be like terrible. a scientific, like a hard science type major. Like, <laughs> <in a few. laughs> don't tell them! <laughs> 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 science! I am not the most brightest of it, but... <laughs> I mostly enjoy the mathematical parts, and even then I'm not that good. Cough, cough. Well, I mean, to be honest, like, a lot of the motivations for, like, these characters, or the animals that they chose to base their characters on, are a bit strange, to say the least. Like, echidnas? I, I saw this, um, there's this popular video I saw on YouTube where, um, they're making fun of the echidnas, like, about how freaking weird and random they are in real life. And, and hedgehogs, I mean, that's a little more understandable, but, like, the only, like, practical animal I see here is, like, a fox. You know, Tails? I think Tails could, could uh, shoot in for, like, the original mascot. I don't think people would have minded. Well, too late now. Yeah, I mean, uh, Sonic does have the attitude, and it's kind of hard to imagine it now, because he's, like, relegated to sidekick status, but I think he could have easily been, like, you know, the main mascot. I mean, you look at all the other ideas they had for the main mascot, like, you know, even Eggman was a possibility as well. And I mean, you know, they had Mighty the Armadillo and they had a uh, Ray the Squirrel. I only know this because, well, actually, there's plenty of references that tell about it, but I actually know who they are because I actually read the Archie comics and they're actually in the comics. Mm -hmm. so. Archie comics are still going on. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, and, they, and it's like one continuous storyline, or it's like. It's one storyline. They have, like, sidetracks and everything, but they say this is, you know, something else. So, okay, is the, are the Archie comics, are those supposed to be, like, canon with the games? Are the games supposed to be canon with the Archie comics or whatnot? Oh, no, 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 and that's actually a cool thing I actually kind of like, is that, like, when it came to Generations, they, they, they acknowledged that, like, you know, the, Gen the Genesis games and the actual comics and even the TV shows, they actually they had, like, a whole universe thing. That's besides the point, though. They acknowledge that they're two separate universes altogether. Hmm. Oh god, it's so sad that I still haven't played Sonic Generations. Well, you mean, you know. Well, I mean, look how long it took me to play Portal 2. <laughs> the college life. And right. the broke life. <laughs> Love it a bow. Yeah. But, I mean, I find it kind of ironic that, you know, considering that Espio was, like, really supposed to be, like, really in the running to be, like, the main mascot, ironically, like, the only game, to my knowledge, that he shows up in is Knuckles Chaotix, you know, Sonic's Rivals, where Sonic's rival is the main character. He's a side character. Oh, yeah. Know, something about that it seems a little odd, in my opinion. Or, wait, who? Espio? Yeah, well, not... Uh, Espio's a chameleon, right? Or, no, it's, uh... It's Mighty to Armadillo? Mighty, yeah. Yeah, Mighty was supposed to be the main character, but he only shows up in a game in where game. Knuckles is the main character. It shows you how popular he was. Right? 
Well, I, love I like that they actually reference him in Generations, where they say missing, and along with uh, Ray as well. No, he's Jonathan too, because there was the Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, the arcade game. Wait, Sega? What arcade game? There was there arcade was, Sonic. There was one. Yeah. You're there's... about to drown, aren't you? Nope. Wow! Oh wow! <laughs> I... <laughs> Let that be a testament to uh, how annoying this level is. Well, what, what catches me is kind of odd, the fact that the music doesn't really fit it, in my opinion. The, you mean like, the, wait, you mean the actual level of music? Yeah, it doesn't fit the mood very, very well, in my opinion. Well, it's, I guess the theme is supposed to be, it's, a, it's elaborate, it's odd. When I hear, like, you know, banjos in the background, you know, happy-go-lucky music, I don't think Labyrinth. <laughs> well, I mean, if the plan was obviously to make a Labyrinth, they had to have some kind of good music to go along with it. He would go crazy. <laughs> like, try to get close to ele elevator music, I guess. Something to that effect. Yeah. No, well, to be honest, like, I don't know, I might get a little bit of hate for this, but... I'm not the biggest fan of some, the original Sonic the Hedgehog soundtrack. Oh, I'm just well. being honest. Like, I don't, like, there's no really, there's, okay, well, other than Marble Zone, I can't really think of a theme in this game that I really, like, actually legitimately enjoy. Well, other than the robotic theme. I love the robotic theme in this game. I mean, of all of them, I mean, the ones I mainly like are just, uh, are... Scrap Brain. Everybody likes Scrap Brain. Well, of course, everyone loves Scrap, scrap Brain. <laughs> I think they Starlight. I I'd say Starlight and Final Zone are probably my favorite songs in this game. Like just easily, I would rather. Final Zone play. definitely has that. Just it's just grand. Like this is the end right here. Hmm. So I do enjoy the the uh, the credits uh, theme and everything. It, they I do like that. They it always meshes in so well together and everything with one, two, and three. Mostly two, though, of course. Oh, huh, wow. I'm supposed to roll there. That's that's a tip right there. Just roll there, and you'll you'll be able to pass it through easily. And this this I think is it this take I mess up and I end up missing a couple of times. Yep. Oh, by by the way, if you don't hit that switch you just hit, you end up falling forever. Yep. Yeah, uh, endless mage. Endless maze sections. They're quite abundant in the original Sonic series. I can only think of two levels that do that. This, this, and Sandopolis. Uh, the Ice Cap. Oh yeah, Ice Cap. That's right. Yeah, Sandopolis. That one's a little deceiving. Like you know, when you got the ghost chasing you. I just remember when I was younger all the time. I would, um, I would always almost, like almost always, at least once when I'm going through a game. I would get at least one time out, you know, going through San oh, yeah. And it usually always came to when I got right to Robonic. <laughs> the imp the, it, like, they, almost never fails. They, oh, they just completely just use that infinite, uh, infinite sliding, like, all throughout all, Act 2. Hmm. Kind of a slow platform. I mean, I, that's the level that has... Well, well, I mean, but even then, I still find that more bearable than Marble Zone because at least you're constantly moving in that in that zone. <laughs> even if you're going an infinite loop, and you always have, you know, the threat of, uh, you know, the ghost to keep the pace up, True. the tension high. Well, to, to be fair, the ghosts really do nothing because it takes them forever for them to be able to hurt you, and when they get to that point, all you have to do is jump or spin dash, and they can't do anything. Hmm. I thought they could hurt you, even if you aren't in ball form. No, they, they're they're pretty uh weak. Yeah, I didn't know that. Huh. Then again, it's been a while since I let the ghost actually hit me, so... Even the star doesn't save you from drowning. Oh, it does. Wait, does it? No. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Not even Super in 2, which we'll see later. Okay, but back to what you were saying. You were saying there was a Sonic arcade game? Sega Sonic, uh, Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. That was the actual title of the game. And it starred, oh, this uh, game? No, 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 not. 
It was an arcade, not this, it was a whole other game altogether. Oh, and one of those obscure titles? Uh, it's very obscure. It's like, I don't, even, I don't even know if it was... It probably got released here in the U.S. I had no idea about that. i just seen a few uh, actual gameplay footage of it and everything. It's, it's basically, uh, it's Sonic, Mighty, and uh, Ray in one game and everything. And it uses, uh... Have you guys ever played that, like, the arcade, uh... Like, and ba Dave and Buster's the bowling games and whatnot, the rollers? Mm, no. I think uh, I know what you're talking about. I've only been Dave and Buster's like once in my life, once or twice. I've only been there once too. I've, I, I, I just think of like the the what is it called the I think of the the mouse is that like you know you can move the mouse by by rolling the little ball on it. I forget what they're called exactly, but you use that and everything. To oh, okay. Around. Like a, oh, you have like a giant little circle in the middle of the arcade center, and you spin it, kind of like yeah. one of those golf games. Yeah, she knows them bars. Yeah, that's you, that's pretty much what it is and everything. By the way, while you're running up and everything, the water's constantly coming up. The water's going to catch up to me. And you don't actually have to kill Eggman here. You just chase him, and at the end, he runs like a pussy. Eggman, Eggman. It keeps on distracting me because we're both referring to him as Robonic, and you're the only one who says Eggman. Now, ever since I heard it's Eggman in, in Adventure 2, I just got adjusted to that. Well, I mean, it was his theme. I am the Eggman. Hmm. Huh? But, well, yeah, it looks like Casper. <laughs> you freed Casper. Yay! But that's the end of part three, guys. I will, we will see you all at part four. See you then.